Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market. It's going to be my daily forecast for Monday, June 28, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, this uh, weekend, we have basically been all over the place. Uh, we are up a little bit here on Sunday, uh, Friday, and uh, Saturday, we did fall quite a bit. Uh, but 20 Exponential is still holding, and um, we can see that MACD is basically racing towards the bottom. It is just probably just a matter of time before we break 28k uh, and then we'll drop to 25 and then to 20 and then the question is whether or not that will be the area where where people will get interest back in this cryptocurrency because if 20 breaks then we are looking at significantly a massive drop to the, to the downside um this was where people also got interested because when 20 thousand broke or here then it basically broke the all-time highs back in 2017 and people invested uh started investing a, a lot right here you can see in the massive move to the upside then we fall creating a, a bullish flag and then continue up until we get towards a 64k and since then well this market has been hammered by uh, regulation uh, about uh, scandals and and so on and so on and the hype that was part of this market when it broke 20k that has all but vanished it is non-stop bad news about this market overall and you can just see the effect of that people are not buying into these tips they're occasionally buying when um, this market gets really overstretched you can see it here you can also see it here you can also see it here but we do not have these massive moves to the upside. We don't have bullish flag patterns at all. We just have a, well, uh, a currency that is technically dropping like a rock at this point. So if we were to um, have positive signs here, then we need to break above the 20. We need to have the 20 cross the 50 and then cross the 200 moving average again in order for this to turn around i just don't see that happening anytime soon and therefore we may go significantly lower bounce uh, basically break down from the 20 exponential or even the 50 moving average going forward you can see the macd is flat the stochastic is flat cci is bearish and the rsi is flat so momentum is definitely not to the upside at this current stage so let's look at ethereum so ethereum very similar here we did have massive fall got really overstretched then buyers coming back in technical buy and then also here and we haven't seen much <laughs> movement since then this has just been dropping uh fairly fast we're underneath the 200 moving average we have the 20 exponential going this way 200 that way 50 this way these will most likely cross the 200 and then we'll see a drop towards a 1000 if that is the case and then significantly uh, lower than that we can see that the technical indicators we can see the macd is bearish the Kasik is bearish the cci is bearish and so is the uh, so, so is rsi but we are on the edge of being oversold um, if we were to have a massive drop here then we'll probably have uh, significant buying coming in at around a thousand because then we will be significantly overstretched also significantly over oversold like we were right here and then buyers came back in but as long as this basically breaks down every time it touches the 200 and the 20 exponential then this downward trend will continue so let's look at cardano so cardano, cardano has it did rally from the 200 moving average but it was not the rally that i expected um because it rallied up towards the 20 and then broke down again so people kind of took the chance of buying at the 200 moving average thinking that this will basically continue to rally to the upside but at this point we are most likely going to test the 200 moving average again as we got rejected here at the 20 exponential so long term we'll probably have the 20 exponential uh, going this way 200 moving this way and we'll have a crossing around this area here 
Same goes for the 50, it will travel this way and the 200 that way. And then we'll have a, have a golden crossing of the 250 and the 200. And usually that is a really bad sign for any uh, any asset. You will be uh, become significantly bearish at this point. So MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this point. So momentum as well here is to the downside. So let's like uh, look at Litecoin. So Litecoin, uh, very similar to uh, Dash and and Ian Neon, as we're gonna we are gonna look at in a moment. But this also looks like a currency that is completely dying. Rallies up towards the twenty, breaking down constantly, and um, we haven't even gotten towards the twenty exponential. Um, the last few trades are just going basically flat. So MACD is flat, stochastic flat, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat. So if we don't manage to break above the 20 exponential and we have a 50 moving average and the 200 moving average crossing here basically tomorrow, we could see this drop below uh, 100 and uh, towards 50. So that is kind of what is at stake here. We need to break above the 20 and the 200 in order to go back towards these highs. There's definitely a massive shift in the cryptocurrency market. And there were also, there were also um, some uh, major bank that were bank. I think I can't remember which one of those one of the U.S. banks that said that this trend would continue as people were not buying the dips. So let's look at Neo. So Neo, very similar to um, the Litecoin chart. Uh, we'll most of you have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average in the next uh, two, three trading days and uh, 20 exponential is acting as resistant and as long as that is the case we are just going to go lower 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 and we are trading at 29 at this point absolutely amazing that we went from all the way from 139 give or take and down to 29 right now so talk about a collapse in this cryptocurrency market it's uh, it's fairly ridiculous so MACD is still bearish. The stochastic is bearish. CGI is bearish, and the RSI is also bearish at this point, uh, at 29 and oversold. So we may see this rally up towards the 20, but uh, those rallies will most likely get uh, sold into. And what we are looking at here is probably going back to uh, pre parabolical move to the upside, if you can say that, where we were trading at 12 dollars, 10, 12 dollars or take so let's look at dash so dash continues to fall we're trading at 118 at this uh, at this current stage we did drop all the way down to 102 uh, last week so uh, rallies up towards the 20 are also sold into as we saw here and here and due to the fact that we are or sold at this point in the RSI we may see a rally up towards a 20 exponential at 140 tree but it will also most likely be sold into as we also have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average right here so bearish indication and the second indicators are not favoring the upside at this point so let's look at dogecoin yes uh, the poster child for um, uh, this uh, move to the upside in the cryptocurrency market and uh, probably what will be discussed after um, this all is also finished we rallied up towards 100, uh, 0.73 uh, yes of cryptocurrency that basically was made as a joke but uh, to be frank it was hyped to these levels by um, multiple uh, media outlets and and uh, celebrities and so on and at this current stage, it just looks like this is completely dying. Um, I'm not saying this can't turn around, but at this, at this moment, it more like, it's more likely that we'll test um, the 200 moving average then again at 0 0.15 than we are to test the very high zero of 0 0.73. So if you look at testing indicators, we can see that the uh, MACD is uh, flat, the CASC is flat, CCI is uh, bearish, and the RSI is flat as well. We, if you look at the moving averages, we can see that the 200 moving average is nearly nearly flat. It has a positive um, trend. MACD, um, though the 
20 exponential has a negative trend at the moment, and so as the 50 moving average. We are mostly going to have a crossing of the 20 and the 200 and the 50 and the 200 if this this continues, and that will probably take uh, two to three weeks for this to to occur, and then we'll most likely have this drop back towards 0 0.05 or probably even lower than that 0 0.01 and and so on if we start trading trending underneath the 200 moving average then probably we'll see the bucket uh, we'll probably see this completely fall apart um, yes it has completely fallen apart but that will basically be the be, be a massive um uh, a massive negative side for this cryptocurrency to be fairly honest so hope you find this helpful you want to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much